Hello guys, welcome back to my Final Fantasy Breath X VS video. Now I'm gonna talk about the yes, maybe you have been waiting for this banner, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children banner. Okay, so yes, like you probably already know that Japan got Neo Fusion update, which featuring yeah, Cloud from Final Fantasy VII Remake. And yeah, for the global, we get the Advent Children version. So should you be happy? <laughs> let's take a look on him. So let's talk about a good thing about him. He is a Stardust Ray Chainer, and he is a true dual wield at this time. So yes, I really like true dual wield more than true double hand. Okay, because true dual wield, of course, they can equip two weapons, so they can take advantage from the weapon world enhancement better because you equip two weapon right and yes cloud also able to chain with octas last so i'm really confused here why they don't even bother to change octas last into bolting strike really really because octas last who able to chain with octas last only old severot so yes it is all up to you but yeah at least he able to chain with Stardust Ray, okay, and he also able to imbue himself with Earth and Light Elemental, okay, and that's really good, but maybe not that insane feature because he is a true dual wield character. You can simply change his weapon to change your element, so yes, nice feature. And Shelly say that he is gonna become really powerful limit break users. Yes, I agree with that because. After taking a look from his Japan version, his limited burst can deal 68 times damage. Okay, yeah. yeah, I'm not sure how you upgrade this, but yeah, the range between 60 to 68 times damage, and yes, that's really powerful, guys, because he can cast LB damage buff on the battle. That means, yes, he, he maybe become the Best damage modifier LB users. Why I say damage modifier, not damage? Because after looking on the pen version, yes, it takes me about three times looking that because I'm kind of surprised because I cannot find plus six times change damage modifier mode. So, really, I'm really confused here. You create a true dual wield character without plus six times change damage mod? Why? Why? Really confuse me, guys. If they really afraid he gonna be really that powerful, then simply reduce his damage modifier, right? That really makes me confused about their design character, okay? Or maybe they thinking like this, oh, let's just not put plus 6 time change damage modifier. Everyone still gonna pull for Cloud because, yeah, many, yeah, many really love Cloud, okay? So they think they can get away with without giving him plus 6 time change damage modifier. So really guys, I don't think that's really clever decision. Okay, and for Trust Master Reward, I must say his Trust Master Reward is really good. It is 60% attack boost without any weapon restri restriction. Okay, really good. And it also boosts LB damage by 30%. So yes, this is one of the best offensive Trust Master on the game. So for 60% boost, you can get past regret on the past, but that ability reduce your spirit. But this one doesn't have any disadvantage, okay? You get full benefit, so really good Trust Master reward. So even I don't like Cloud that much because he missed that plus 6 time change damage modifier, his Trust Master reward is super good. So I don't mind if I get him in the future. But for STMR, I don't think it is that great, okay? So yes, now let's move to the next character. Tifa, Advent Children version. So for Tifa, I cannot say much about her, okay? Because after taking a look on the wiki, 
her Japan version. Oh, I I think it's kind of complicated because she has like quadcast, but with unique selection. So she is like Valkyrie profile characters, and yeah, looking her damage modifier. I think global awakened version of Tifa on the global is more powerful. Maybe okay, maybe. Remember that they give her global buff. So it's possible she will become top tier attackers on the global. Okay, but here what she can do. She is basically Stardust Ray Chainer, so same like Cloud, okay. For element, she able to imbue herself with water and lightning and this is really important for Tifa because she is a true double hand attacker. So really, it's really confusing me, okay. First they give, I mean they create cloud with that plastic time change damage modifier. Now they create Tifa, true double hand Tifa. So really guys, it's not bad, okay. I don't say true double hand character are bad, because, but how do you double hand the glove, okay. How do you hold that? So it's kind of strange. And from what I can remember, there's only one weapon, okay? Aigaian cross arm. So, yes, for newbie players, maybe Tifa is not a good character for you because you need to defeat that Aigaian first, okay? But for her strength, I think I need to wait until I read about her global buff, okay? For Trust Master Reward, I must say. It's kind of yeah. It's not bad, okay, because it gives you fifty percent through double hand and forty five attack. Nice, but the side effect it is kind of joke, okay. Increased counter chance. So basically, it is only useful for her because on this type of accessory, the one that increase equipment attack are kind of common at this point of the game. Okay, so it is not that tempting to get this. For STMR, it's also kind of bad. 80% attack, sure it is amazing, but it is restricted to fist weapon. For comparison, if you remember Sora and Riku from Kingdom Hearts, Trust Mastery Word gives you 70% attack without restricted to certain weapon. Okay, so this one not bad, but this is it is not something that I will test, okay. Just yeah, nice if you get it, but if you miss it, it's okay. Okay, so that's all for Tifa, and those are all the characters on this new banner. There are no four stars base, okay? So the final question should you summon? So I believe you have known the answer, okay? Of course, the answer is no, because through dual wield without plus six time change damage modifier. Is that sounds good to you? And through double hand fist users, wow, I'm not interested, okay? And yes, if you take a look on Furukula, cloud damage level is on about 25 billion or million, not, don't remember, okay? But that means he is about on par like Infernal Fire Rain, and we already have Infernal Fire Rain, right? So I believe. If you need DPS, you already pulled for those characters. So yes, if you already done that, I don't think pulling Cloud is a good choice. Okay, because it is obvious that they don't give uh, Cloud plus six times change damage modifier to even out his damage. So they are fear that Cloud will be harm really powerful. So yes, in that case. Yeah, we should save our lapis, okay? Because yes, I don't think Cloud is good idea to get. He is not a bad character, okay, by any mean. But yeah, you don't need him if you already have Esper units. And the most important thing is we already know that Neo Vision sooner or later will come to the global. I believe it will come at yeah, maybe on at the end of this year, okay, maybe on November, December, okay. So at that time, you gonna need lots of lapis. So I think if you can save your lapis, then yes, save it, okay. I don't say that you shouldn't pull any units 
until Neo Vision come to the global. If you can do that, then it's good. But maybe that's not fun anymore. But the point here is we just got awesome DPS. Okay, Infernal Rain, Supreme Diva Axtar, and probably Odin Regan soon. So I think if you have those characters, you don't need this cloud. Okay, and I don't think these characters will be that insanely powerful because actually Gumi gives you bait okay if the characters are really good they won't give you bait because by login daily you can get uh, correct me if I'm wrong okay by login daily you can get prism for this new characters okay Tifa or cloud so you only need to pull one character and you can get the seven stars version easily that's good thing okay that's good thing because both of these characters are not bad okay but the point here is you shouldn't go insane and you also get the another exchange coin for one final fantasy 7 characters and wow that's pretty nice okay and maybe i think the best option to use your ticket I mean, the exchange coin for unit is for Irid or Tifa, the normal version, okay? Because those two characters are really powerful, especially Irid, okay? She's a really good healer. And for Tifa, it's good if you have one Tifa, okay? Because Tifa is really good, okay? For other Final Fantasy Seven normal characters, I don't think they are worth at this point, maybe Red 13 because he gonna get Neo Vision in the future on the first batch. And I think that's all you need to know about this banner. But before ending this video, let's talk about something else. It is about Ability Awakening. So yes, I know it's still long because we probably get this Ability Awakening at the end of May. But I just want to warn you. Please don't keep your yeah. Please keep your expectation low, okay? Because I think the reason they make Esther Abilities Awakening so bad is because so many players have her. Got it? Because whoa, so many players have her. So let's make her awakening not powerful. So they will pull for more for future characters. And I think that's also the same for Zeno of the Beta Star. Because he was totally awesome. Okay, he was the best DPS for a long time and many players obtain him. So yes, please don't keep your expectation high about Zeno Awakening. Okay, I have Yeah. I have been disappointed for Esther, so I don't get my hopes too high. But maybe they will buff Axtar because, yes, Axtar. Axtar is kind of neglected by global players because many try to get Zeno. Okay, and maybe Uriza Awakening also gonna be good. So, yes, maybe I still waiting for the banner, but for Zeno, I don't get my hopes high. Okay. And for the Berta Legend ability, also it is the same. Don't keep your expectation low, okay? Because let me ask you a question: Do you still use Olive? Okay, I don't think so, right? But still, pretty interesting to see. Let's just wait, but yeah, keep your expectation low so you don't get salty later, okay? So yeah, but I think that's all you need to know. Thank you very much for watching. Push the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Guide. Bye bye, guys.